I had a conversation with my grandma a couple months ago and she was like talking about taking me to Pakistan and finding me a husband and I said okay if you want to find me a husband I will find you one too and <laughs> And welcome back to Chatterbox. We are here to do another trailer reaction. But before we get to that, let me introduce you to the crew. Introducing the man who everyone loves, RV. What's going on? Oh, it's good. It's good, Andre, man. I uh, can't wait to have a look at what we've got in store to review today, man. What about you? Nice, nice, nice. All good, all good, all good. Introducing the man who's got all the opinions. P, what's happening? I'm good. I'm feeling really good. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. Good, good, good. Introducing the artist. Maria, what's going on? Not much, not much. Noise, noise, noise. Hey, hey, wait, hold on a second. We keep calling her artist, but she still hasn't performed for the Chatterbox fans. Because they I'm sure, I'm sure somewhere along the line they're going, artist. She can't be called an artist if she's not performing. So we have to arrange a time where you have to show them what you got. She yeah. have to go get the guitar from. The no, back. I'll tell you what. I'll put like my demos on uh, streaming platforms. No, no, no. That's so, done, no. That's done, people can check that out. No, no, no. The <laughs> thing about it, stop trying to do that thing where you're getting out of it. Yeah, we'll. They can look at your demos, but I'm sure they want to see you doing it live. No, no. I think you just need to learn to compromise. <laughs> no, that, that is a compromise. All right, so it's pre-recorded then. And then there's two guitars behind you. So <laughs> Chatterbox fans, if you want to see her perform for you, because we call her the artiste, put it in the comments whether you want her to do it. All right? Anyway, let's move on. Back She's going to you. take requests. <laughs> take requests. <laughs> Love them. Yes, That's we'll cool do one. karaoke. Everyone will do some karaoke. Mm. <clears throat> okay. I'm the ladies love Andre hope you're all doing well <laughs> now before we get to this trailer reaction let me tell you a little something about Patreon where we have all our different tiers we have our platinum request tier where if you want us to react to something very quickly you want to get to the front of the queue you can go on that, we also have watch alongs we also have trailer reactions song reactions, scene reactions movie reviews we have it all so if you can, join up. Now let's get to this trailer, which is Bro Daddy. I think some of us did a little teaser already. So this was directed by Prif Viraj Sukumaran, who also stars in it as well, and Mohan Lal, and Meena, Kalyani Priya Darshan, woo, among others. So let's just have a watch because, you know, we've already seen the teaser. Let's do this. You ready? <laughs> ಅಪ್ಪ <laughs> 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 ಎಂತ ಗುಣ ಯೋಚಿ ನಲ್ಲ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ ಅವನೊಂದು ಶರಿಯಾಗತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅವನೇಕಾಳ್ ನಲ್ಲೊರು ಪರಸ್ಯಕಾರನ ಞಾನ್ ಕೊಂಡುವರು ಸ್ವಾಭಾವಿಕ 
ഈ സമൂഹത്തിൽ എനിക്കുള്ള നില വില അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് ചിന്തിച്ചോ അതിന് സമൂഹത്തിൽ നിനക്ക് എന്നാ വിലയാണ് നമുക്ക് ഒളിച്ചോടിയാലോ പക്ഷേ ഒരു പ്രശ്നമുണ്ട് അതന്നെ കുഴപ്പം അന്നെ എന്ന് വിളിച്ചാൽ അവളും നോക്കും അമ്മയും നോക്കും ഫുൾ കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ഇനി എങ്ങനാ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഇനി കാശൊക്കെ ഒരുപാടായി കാണുമല്ലോ അതിനപ്പോ നമ്മള് കാശ് നോക്കില്ല One thing I have to admire, I have to admire how versatile Mohan Lau is. I've seen him in quite an array of different films now, and um, even in comedy, he doesn't look out of place. That looks like a nice feel-good comedy. I wish from the trailer that there was a clear-cut antagonist that I could hate to make the um, comedy even better. But it looks good. It's not something I'd rush to go out and see. It's intriguing, but it's one of those things I'll let Andre watch it first, and then I'll give Mario to watch it second, and then if they like it, I will watch it, uh, maybe. But it's intriguing. It's okay. But I'll wait for the reviews on this one. I I I um actually liked it probably a bit more than P did. I think it was especially when I saw the end there that Prithvi Raj has has made this movie. Uh he's not only directing it but he's starring it as well so props to him for that. Um yeah, he, he looks like he's done a good job as well. I mean, he's another one that not just Mohan Lal, you have to say that Prithvi Raj is quite versatile as well because he's been quite a few action movies where he's like the typical hero the macho guy and here he just looks like a a young guy and i think the story was basically they're trying to marry him off his family's trying to marry him off and he likes one girl and then there's like there's an issue with that girl's family don't not liking him so yeah i'm sure this is very relatable to a lot of the lads uh, in india and out of india who's ever gone through some kind of similar arranged sort of process um it's pro it's, it looks like a relatable the comedic side of that whole process which probably can be painstaking as well so um i like there was bits where mohan lal was being like his best version of him where he's still wants all the limelight because that's what mohan lal is basically he's the guy with taking the limelight all the time and even if he is the dad in this he's not to be outshone by prithvi raj so i liked that aspect of it and it clearly looked like um it wasn't just the music in the in the trailer that was making it look like slapstick funny i think the the actual movie itself does ha- have little moments where you're just going to bust out laughing uh because of the silliness of it and I, i appreciate that kind of comedy especially in indian cinema and like malayalam movies that probably is one of the strengths of uh, malayali cinema is the comedy aspect when they chuck it in because they don't take themselves too seriously sometimes with the comedy they they like to make it silly which uh, which they do well so yeah I, I, i'm looking forward to seeing that i don't know i've got disney plus but i don't have hotstar i don't think i think it's two separate things right yeah yeah i might i might have to see if i can find it another way but i would want to watch that for sure i think i've always been intrigued because I never understand why guys or um, Asian guys would be worried about having an arranged marriage because you're like you have somebody going out there to look for a very beautiful lady and hand deliver to you without you doing all the work. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm just I'm putting it yeah. out there. I'm just like wasting time on people <laughs> who are not worthy because you you've they've already been checked by your parents. the um, your family already like them. So, doesn't But, it make it a lot easier? I don't know. There's Educate a bit of a me. there's a bit of a painful process beforehand before you come down to the selection and like the when you're looking at eligible say for example women right so young girls they're looking for a suitable bachelor sometimes their parents idea of suitable and a handsome is not necessarily what the girl thinks is handsome and it could work both ways sometimes the you know the groom the young man he, his idea of what he likes is not what his parents think you know is beautiful so they they might have more traditional views on what beautiful is or they might have 
you know, they, they might think because she comes from a traditional background, that's what's best. But it might not always be the way, you know, the, the, the young person who's getting married, the groom or the bride might be more modern in their ways. You know, there's a whole load of reasons why things but, might but, be wrong. But doesn't the parents kind of go f- show you many options before you choose? Like, not, you don't not just really. choose not, not really. <laughs> they kind of just go, here's a proposal that's come through. Do you want to check? Let's go and meet them tomorrow. And then you're like, well, uh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> you don't okay. know nothing about a person. And they're like, come, let's meet them. You never know. Well, thanks for that, P. <laughs> Mario. I had a conversation with my grandma a couple of months ago. And she was like talking about taking me to Pakistan and finding me a husband. And I said, OK, if you want to find me a husband, I will find you one too. And she said, <laughs> no. So that shows how different our values in people mm. are in of itself. So um, needless yeah. to say, I'm not getting married anytime soon. And oh, hold, a sec- <laughs> hold a second. Where would you find your nana husband? That's what I want to know. It's just a threat. If I had I to know. look, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I've seen, I seen loads of these uh, uncles down the massage parlors. You can probably... <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got proposals, you know. There have been guys who have asked her to marry her. She is a desired mm. lady, but no. She's a Get in there, girl. nanny! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies love! <laughs> I have to preface this by saying, honestly, I don't think I'm a comedy person. I like dark comedies, but comedies, nine out of ten times, just don't make me laugh. It's kind of sociopathic, actually. Um, I've had Christ. people try to make me laugh and show me their favourite comedies, and I'm just there like... So um, I don't think I'm good for this G- kind of Give us group, some examples, but... Maria. Give us some examples. Like, what are traditionally funny, like, films that everyone I, you finds know, funny? Like the, no, you know, you know what will make Maria laugh? Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Bill. What? <laughs> oh, God. No, let's not talk about Kill Bill. <laughs> there must, come on, there must but... be some examples, though. That you, you know yeah, that like Ted, Family fun. Guy, you know, like general rom-coms, like whatever is mainstream. And honestly, I don't remember any specific names other than that because they're not memorable to me. Um, <laughs> but what I will say that I liked about the trailer is the point that where that guy who was really strong was afraid of blood. I kind of resonated with that because I'm a black belt in karate. But if you put me in a room with a spider, I will shit shit myself <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it was it was good the quality seemed good but it's just not my thing to be honest mm-hmm. yeah i rather enjoyed it and mohan lal is just excellent i think his charisma and the things i've seen him in i've always loved and i've always loved him specifically so watching this i was like yep yeah. and he doesn't even need to try and um steal the fund or anything like that he just does because he's him and he's that good like so yeah it just it just looks good all of them look good as well so yeah it looked funny as well it was funny like what, what i saw there so i'm hoping the film is funny um so yeah thumbs up for that bro daddy interesting title so yeah what do you guys think are you looking forward to bro daddy comment like subscribe our socials are in the description down below Patreon, like I said before, is in the description down below. We also have Chatterbox Extra, where we have Western trailer reactions and so forth. That has been our trailer reaction to Bro Daddy. And we'll see you very soon.